ClickUp actually replace Slack? That is what we're going to talk about today. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs that are ready to scale their business and make their dreams come true. So go hit the subscribe button to get notified every time I go live or upload a new video to make your life easier. And today we're going to talk about the ever asked question, can ClickUp replace Slack? Hmm. And the answer to that is depends. Internally, we are still using Slack, though communications are happening in ClickUp. Our goal is always wanting to keep it simple and easy. And right now, all of the task communications are happening in ClickUp. But unluckily, ClickUp does not have a centralized system for communications yet. So yes, ClickUp can replace Slack, especially when you're working with a lot of VAs and kind of freelancers where there is not a lot of chitter chatter going on. And it can help you really streamline your communication, but it also doesn't allow for chitter chatter, really. And you can lose track of what things are happening and where the communication is happening and all those things. So let's look into my ClickUp and I'm going to show you a couple of ways how we approach communication in ClickUp, how we have started to replace Slack with ClickUp and why we are hoping for communication 2.0 to be released really soon so we really can get rid of Slack completely. So let's head on over. Let's start with the communication that we already have going on. All cool, not a problem. In task communication. That's the first thing where we're going to start. So let's just pull up one of the projects with my VA where we are working together regularly. One of the things we do is task communication, meaning specifically to one task. If it is task related, everything is happening in the communication window in your ClickUp and specifically to the task. Often enough, we are not going down and having the communication in the subtask. It usually happens in the main task because it is all truncated. It is all living in a bubble and you do not have really one main chat. Now, here's a pro tip. When you are communicating with somebody on the team in that chat feature, always tag them. I always tag them just to make sure they really see it and they know what's going on. Next pro tip number two when there is communication happening in this task and there is a task that's resulting out of this, meaning you might be running a review on some graphic design, little Twitter chatter is going on in that task and hey, we need to fix something. There is a specific task that needs to get done. You need to assign the comment. You can assign comment literally just by hovering over that comment and hit assign. And then you can hit assign the person that needs to take care of it. They there is your work. You need to get those standard operating procedures in place to let your team know how they need to handle things. So now we got task communication out of the way. It happens in the task. Keep it in the main task because there is no collect all what's going on where you can find it. You don't want to have people to drill down and figure out where it's heading and in what subtask. And you see where I'm going with this. Task communication in the main task, always tag the person that you are talking to, always assign the task if something needs to get done. Now you can have department specific communication too. So if you are running multiple clients through the standard setup where you have the folder, you have the lists underneath and you might have built a custom list for your marketing department. If you don't know how to do that, Go grab the video right here. I'll explain it right there. You can add the chat view specifically right on top. So let's say we got the marketing space right here. You can do a chat view right in here and grab that chat. This would be a chat specifically just for that space, or you can call it marketing chat and it's only for your marketing department. Again, it's truncated. Same tips apply as in the task. Always tag people. 
always make sure you assign a comment if something needs to get done. We use this specific one often enough with clients when I am in my client space and they are getting their support virtually between our calls, we have a ClickUp support chat in there where they can jump in and say, hey, Evie, this doesn't make sense. How do I do this? Again, it comes down to really being specific with your team and how are you handling this internally? They need to be educated about this. They need to be standard operating procedures. Now, the other spot where you can set up a chat is in everything. So theoretically, you can have, quote, a channel as a chat view in your everything view that could replace your Slack. But again, everything is truncated, which means you don't have a one place fits all where you can find all of your chat messages and everything that's going on like we have in Slack. Another way to use the chat feature in here and potentially replace using Slack with your clients is building a dashboard that you work with your clients with, where you pull in the tasks, you do all the things. And one of those would also be the chat widget. Go. Cool. This right here, if you are bringing your clients in into a dashboard, and again, you have your tasks on the side, you might have some notes in here, you might have the documents in here. You can use this as central point for your clients and use your chat in here and use it that way. Now, having said all of this, yes, we are using the chat feature in ClickUp. We are having a lot of communication in here because it allows us to stay really focused on what needs to get done have all the task communication associated with the task and we don't have to drill through slack and figure out and where is what and how is where but we don't have a real centralized system and there's the reason why it does not really replace slack yet till they are releasing a centralized chat feature that looks more like Slack where we can combine all of those and really have a focus on our communication. Now, one thing that I always do to stay on top of this, and this is why I told you always tag whoever you're talking to. I don't care if you were just replying to a message they just posted a minute ago. I always tag people because they will be in those ad mentions. So we do at least have this point where you do have ad mentions right in here in your notifications and you can see when those come in. If you do not ad mention somebody, it will not show up in here. So a little pro tip, always ad mention, put on your daily method of operation and make sure you check these. There is a certain way I am doing that and you will get the video on my way, how I organize my daily method of operation, my DMO every morning here pretty soon. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload that video. I'll see you soon.